<laughs> Hello, people. Mike's gonna run me a a BX. What, I don't even know what are we doing, Mike. What's it called? Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is the salvation of Moxie Murbuckle. Just made that oh, up. We'll make okay. That all right. I, I was like, I've never heard of this. This will be funny. And so I legitimately. Okay. So just a little background because. If anybody watches this stuff, which they might, you know, you might be at the gym and bored, so you might want to watch. Chuck, Mara Chuck, gave Mike and I this really, really cool book, and um, he uh, gave it to us for Christmas. We met over Christmas. The first time we met live in person and played, it was like so much fun. But anyways, so Mike says, okay, he wants to run a BX thing, so we're going to do this. And then uh, Chuck can't play tonight, so it's just me and Mike. So I decided to legit. Not, no modification. Seriously, just roll dice. And only thing I did do was roll the dice first for all the dudes. Okay. And then then they got their here, I'll show you what they look like. Literally, I just rolled them straight down. Really straight down. I did not, I'm not screwing with this. And I figured out what class they can go into. I just got okay. really lucky for um I, I would I would I would have picked anything, but the that the fighters, the first, I even rolled their hit points. That's really scary because they're going to get killed, right? Just looking at the first guy, if I, if I um, want to go into this thing, this is Mr. Timmons. I name every one of my thieves Mr. Timmons because that's just what they're called. But anyways, let me just move this guy. His strength is horrible. Six. He's got a minus one. His intelligence okay. is eight. Wisdom, ten. Dexterity, he had the, eight. that's the one that had the highest dexterity, I guess. But he's got nothing. He's got one hit point. I guess he's got leather armor plus that. So I got to Ooh, I got to change that on my. On my I just do a no yeah, card. Exactly. And we, we can't do one hit point. We don't do one. I mean, roll a four sided die. I did roll. I rolled a four sided die. It came up with a one. <laughs> it's just that bad. All I right. Bad. I, it's let's a go with it. Man. You, everyone dies, Mike. Let's let's. All right. Let's let's go with it. He's got, if you have four hit points, again, anyone's gonna die. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, we're all that's good. Let's, let's see. He might he's yeah. not gonna live, but he, he, we'll just pretend he does. Let's, he, he gets hit once, once, he's dead. Yeah. He's not gonna live. Yeah, now instead of in BX, we're not gonna we're gonna do ascending. So do ascending AC. It's that's just excuse that go. Come on, that's how it's written in the book. Come on, Mike. Don't be scared. Because <laughs> I already figured you, out. You want to use Stacko minus dice roll because armor class it. Yeah, let's use Stacko. I I really do think you gotta play it like it's written. Play like All we right. do more kids, Mike. Don't lie All to right. us. Don't lie to the people. <laughs> <laughs> There's people want to see you in pain trying to do math. I don't All right. It was... Yeah, he's horrible. <laughs> so his armor class would be six. Ooh, that's right. So he doesn't have much. I, I what I did was I pulled their money because they would have done this. And um so they had 350 coins to start with, and everything is Taking care, I, I I counted every little thing. He's leather. He's got a spear, a short sword, and a short bow. He's ready to go. That's all it saves, right? And then we have my fighter that I wanted. Okay, I gotta shrink this back down or something like this because he's acting. Oh, let's go to the cleric. He's sitting right here. Anwar the cleric, level one, hit points of three. Like I'm serious, they can take one hit and they're gone. This will be yeah. the quickest game you've ever seen. The idea is run. The idea is run, run, run. All right. All right. He's got a wisdom of 15, dexterity of 13, and charisma of 14, right? But he has plate of flail and sling. But because of this, he gets an armor class of two because he has, I don't know, Alfonso. Well, Fonzo, was it which one? Yeah. Alfonso that Mason was playing. Yeah. This character, he was using a flail and he was beating everybody up. So I'm, I, I'm going with flail. I, I'm seeing yeah. what happens here, right? Why not? Did he get the Thacko of 19 and 18 for his range? Oh, I forgot. His Thacko for the clear, uh, for the. Little um, halfling, Mr. Timmons is 17. So obviously, if he rolls a 10, he hits armor class of seven. That's easy, right? It's easy right. to do. Let's take a look at the last guy on my my bullpen here. This is Borg. And the reason yeah. why I picked the name Borg, you don't know why, Mike? Why? You're going to laugh when you see this, right? Oh, it's in because the book. That is the on page seven. They made a fighter and they named him Borg. So I said, I'm going to go with Borg, right? So Borg. Yes. Maybe that's this where Gorg the came Borg from. Borg in Star Trek. So, hey, yeah. Well, anyways. So, yeah, he's a uh, plate, bow, arrows. He's only got four hit points. Literally, I just rolled him. I said, let's see what happens. I'm going right. to do what the book tells me to do. 
and we'll just see how bad this goes. This will be fun. Nice. Yeah, 3D6 straight down. Okay. And they got a bunch of junk here. You know, spell, rah, 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 yeah. and I mean, holy symbol, rations. I counted each little thing because I'm a nerd. All the way down to 131 remaining. I just kept buying until I ran out of money. I got down Love to 50 it. foot of rope, 12 iron spikes. I have 13 gold pieces left over. Okay. So, Mike, this is going to be brutal. I, I yeah. really think this whole session will last, what, 15 minutes? I don't oh, know. Oh, good. It, no, it, it absolutely could. Okay, so. So let the little backstory here of when I had the idea to do this, right? Because we're trying to get yeah. Chuck to DM. Yeah. And so this was my thinking. I'm still going to run you through exactly what I was thinking, okay? <laughs> but my thinking was you would roll up a character. Chuck would roll up a character. I would run you through a minimal you know this idea of a camp of this real this one shot type thing just so right. chuck could see how you map online so he could get more comfortable doing it I, okay let's do it that was that was I, I, that, I'll, that was map, my thought. I, I'll map this thing i swear to god i got my pen i got my blank yeah. board or and however I'll, and so yeah what? so so yeah so th that was my thought but we're gonna run it and if you however far you get so however far you get. Yeah, you don't scare me. I'm not scared. So no, I, I'm gonna no, do I'm be. gonna use uh what color should we use? Blue? Let's use blue. Let's go blue here, right? As long as long as you can you can you can see it. I can read it. And I'm just All gonna right. write down B is for Borg, right? All right. T is for Timmins. Oh, Timmins. And obviously A is for Anwar. All right. Yeah. Or I can go F fighter, thief, and cleric. Yeah, it's going to be a long to really get adjusted to the name. So I'm just going to call it FTC, right? Because yeah. I think they're going to die in 15 minutes. I'm all right with that. All right. All right. So ahead. let's set the scene. We're going to move at the move at the move at the speed of plot. All right. Yes. Yeah, your three uh, characters. Um. Oh, I guess I should I should actually write their names down, sh shouldn't I? Um, anyway, well, the, uh, the, I'll, the, I'll write down Borg or the fighter, thief, and cleric. Yeah, they are. Fighter, thief, and cleric. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna live. I don't know why. Timmons is always coming back into every Mr. game Timmons. I play for the rest of my yes, life. Yes, he is. We love and Mr. Timmons. And Anwar. Anwar is the the cleric. Let's just there. Let's go with the that. Cleric. Okay, okay, gotcha. All right. all right. So, so the three of you are essentially on your way. You are literally going from a town out to a tavern right that's out in the woods because you guys want to go adventuring right but yeah. you're you're making your way in the woods and you're stopping you're about to make um a uh a, you're, you're gonna take a break um you, you 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 pull off the side of the road you guys are start setting up on camp oh. mr timmons goes out in the bushes to take a leak and he hears something off in the distance and it sounds kind of like high pitch whining kind of moaning um and sort of you hear this gruff shut up in there shut up and it's just about to become you know the sun setting it's about it, it the sun hasn't set yet but we're looking at sunset and he okay. hears sort of some whining off in the distance and he hears a gruff voice telling them to be quiet okay so i hear this about how far do you think it's away can i tell um with your halfling sense um it really honestly doesn't seem to be that far. It's probably it's probably less than about 50, 60 yards from you, but you're it's in dense foliage. And there are and you know from this road is that these sort of two um trails sort of come together and it's on another trail that sort of that connects into the one that you're already on. Okay. I tell you what he's gonna do. He's gonna Sneak over to the other two guys mm -hmm. and say, I heard something. Um, I'm going to go check it out. You stay right here. So he's going to try to move as quiet as possible 
yep. through the foliage. And I don't know how you want to do this because the halfling has the ability, but that's just not to be seen, right? It's not yeah, to I got move. You. Right? I got so you. I don't know what you want to use. For me to move silently is 20%. I'm, I'm with you. And that's something you roll. I don't roll it. I don't know whether yeah. I can be heard. So, yeah, there you go. Kill yeah. first. <laughs> he's got one hit point. If he stubs his toe, he's going. <laughs> there have to be a serious stubbing of a of a, a toe. All right. So um. So 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 you are skulking through the woods, getting close to that sound, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. As you get a visual, does he see anything? Sure. As you so are it's, getting, it's dusk, right? It is not nighttime. It is it is not nighttime, but the sun is um setting. And okay. um when you are less than thirty yards away, kind of through the foliage of the woods, but again, you're a halfling, you are used to hiding. You're used to right, especially hiding outdoors, right? You know to get behind shrubs and trees. Um you say thirty which, feet or thirty yards? About thirty yards, sorry, about thirty yards. You're right. Yeah, about thirty yards. Um you 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 now you can start moving closer. You can stop at this point. But what you see is um, definitely one human dressed very much like a, a a a fighter, if you will, you know, black leather type. And right. there's a cart, and in the cart it's a pen, and you could tell that there are some small beings in this pen you're not really sure come out at this point but it looks like about half a dozen so it's a cart the cart with a horse or no uh, it is not there is no horse there is a cart and there's about half a dozen and um half as a dozen see, people are bags half a dozen little people are in the okay. are in the pen um okay. and you can tell that they're sort of like and then and then you see this other large figure come out of the trees after look you know maybe relieving themselves and the two guys are talking this up, talking to each other but you really can't hear make out what they're what they're saying all right so this is what we got going on all right yeah all right <clears throat> seems like they're they, it seems like they're arguing about whether they're going to make camp here or they're going to keep on to the trail Dude, my two guys are plate deck here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know what? This may be an adventure. All right. He's going to probably... Uh, how far are we from town? Uh, are we from your town? What? From, you, are, you are about um, a day and a half from town. Okay, so oh, we're from, out there. Yeah, you're out in the wilderness. Okay, okay. Uh, that's what I want. And then, so they're on a trail. Yeah. Or they have to be. They're in a cart. Right, so their trail. So if you imagine they had a trail, they're kind of going this way. We were on the same trail or a different trail. No, so you were on a different trail, but you know that eventually this trail connects in with the other trail. I mean, all right, so let's let's play, let's play. It's going to go this way. We have two things going this way. Eventually, it's going to meet up. So I yeah. put F and C down here instead. Okay, all right, I got it. I got it. Okay, all right. So what we're going to do is. Uh, Okay, all right. Tim is just gonna rush on back quietly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come back okay. to his guys, report his findings. Okay. Mm -hmm. And personally, I, the cleric's good. And he's gonna say, did they sound like they were children? Did it sound like they're in trouble? And he couldn't get a break of whether it was children or anything. He just knows there was something in there. Small um, Things in bags doesn't know if you, no 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 they weren't in bags they were they were they were they were in a they were like in a prison pen oh they're in a prison pen I thought they were bagged up oh okay, no, no they're you. they're in a, they're in a, they're in a prison pen so so were they so, human well roll give me a roll under your your intelligence okay, or your wisdom been, uh, your your minutes. choice yeah your your choice either one either one's pretty crap let's do this one all right okay he rolled a nine which puts it under tens is wisdom eights is intelligence so. Okay, well, he he got, um, he's he's seen them before, um, and he's heard stuff about them. He thinks that they're they're that they're forest gnomes. Yeah, at this point, time the cleric says, 
true happiness is in being in service to others. Amen. It's a Mike phrase. <laughs> he says, we must help those for us know. There's no way we have bad feelings about this, right? So at this point, he's going to go ahead and um, these guys are going to start. I don't know. How far up ahead? Can we see the roads merge up ahead? You you right, honestly okay. couldn't because the woods were not. Okay. But 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 okay. remember, they were arguing about whether or not they were going to make camp or not. Okay. 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 My group of boys, Thief is leading the way, except he's going to be quite far ahead. I'm going to say okay. at least, if you said this was a 30-yard jaunt, he's mm -hmm. going to be at least 15 yards, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Or more or less 45 feet yep. in front of these other guys, where these he's going to be out here. Mm -hmm. And then the other two guys are going to be holding back. He's going to pull his bow. Okay. <laughs> and so is the fighter and the cleric is going to, it might be hard for him to do what he's supposed to do, but uh, yeah. Cleric, I guess he'll have a sling, but actually he can probably hit with a sling. He actually has good okay. dexterity. Interesting. Yeah. But they're going to yeah, move the, in quietly. These are, these are, these through. are pretty dense woods just to let you know. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So yeah, it might be a little difficult to shoot through, but yeah. if they're on a trail, if we can get next to them. So yeah, no, I guess the first thing is, do we make it up to a point? All if right. We can be like somewhat behind them. I don't want to be like in front. I want to be, he wants to get up to about here. Okay. And then obviously the fighter would get about here. And the cleric, really, I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. We're just going to put him about here. I don't think a sling is going to go that far. So okay. I don't even know how far the distance is. You're going to have to kind of adjudicate that, how far we are from what. But I'm with you. Yeah. We're, okay. But the fighter has a long bow. Uh, Timmons has a short bow and Amwar, okay. I mean, I think that he's just going to put a sling away and just take out his flail, but try to be as quiet as possible. I gotcha. So, All um, right. as, um, as, as Timmons gets up to about where you were before, so you're, so you're, okay. I mean, I mean, you, is that, you're trying to get about 30 yards from them where you were before? Yeah. Or you're tr trying to get a little uh, closer? Yeah. Yeah. 30 yards. I mean, we don't want to get seen. We don't know who these okay. guys are. We don't want to. Right. We might not so, do anything. I don't know what's going on. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so as you get up and as the fighter and the cleric are starting to get in, um, you, what you'll notice is that, that they have pulled the cart kind of off to the side of the road and, okay. um, one guy's trying to set up some brushing, but the other one, the burly one kind of looks up and goes, "Hey, what's that noise there? What's that? The, and the other guy says, yeah. You okay. hear something? I do. And um, so they're both kind of standing up and they're looking your direction, but they're looking right past Mr. Timmons. They're trying to see into the foliage, um, but they're kind of having a hard time seeing. But they're but they're looking off into the direction of your fighter and your a cleric, the okay. Morgan Anwar. All right, so. You may not let me do this. Okay. The fighter's probably going to try to shoot a bow, his bow, mm -hmm. and try to strike. Let's say if this was a tree. Okay. Yes. Yeah. There's a tree, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say there's bushes and foliage down at the ground, right? Mm -hmm. He wants to shoot in a way. I don't know if he could do this or not. That he hits low. You say it's okay. dusk. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's if he thinks he's gonna get caught doing this, like he's gonna wait till their heads are like pointed like this direction or something, okay. and and try to shoot low that makes it sound like it's on their side of the road, not their side of the road. Okay. I mean, there's a, there's a reason for this, but yeah, I got uh, you. Okay. Yeah, he just wants to, or maybe we should hold. I, you know, I'm gonna roll a die. I'm gonna find out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try this trick. Long, I'm trying it. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 all right. So, 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 um, so what I want you to do, so, so you're aiming at a very particular point. Um, yes. but it's low. Not, yeah, it's not going to be, yeah. it's not going to be that, that too difficult. I'd say, um, um, oh, we're trying to hit, we're doing zero. Oh, see, now this is going to mess me up. Um, no, it's not. No, yeah, you just tell me enough. You can just tell me what I got to roll. The same thing. Okay. 
it um, wouldn't matter. I mean, for this, it wouldn't matter. I'm not hitting sure. an armor class. It just doesn't yeah, matter, no. right? You think well, you roll this. Yes, sir. I, I, and what's your dex bonus? Plus one. Plus one? Okay. I tell you what. No, I mean, hit 11. 11 or better. You got it. 19. Nice. <laughs> Funk. Exactly where you where you where you okay, where well, you wanted. Um I they start shot looking, the dude at a nineteen. Gotta kill them. Gotta him. snipe them. I don't always think it, right? I don't know why I'm so I'm paranoid well, with only four hit points. Therefore I'm like really want to make sure I get the Well they start they start looking over the direction and he goes, Oi, oi, I don't know. These these little buggers concern me. Um I I think there's more of them. And um, you, then all of a sudden, the gnomes start making like a noise, and the other one turns around and, like, with a short sword, he slaps the thing. Like, Shh, quiet, you the in cage. there. Okay. All right, he okay, slaps the all cage. Right. So the two's kind of focused on the cage, and number one's looking off t- over to where you where you shot. Okay. So number two, when he slaps the cage, he's gonna yeah. turn his back to us. Yeah. All right. The thief and the fighter are immediately gonna fire upon him. Okay. All right. He's he is he is he is wearing le- leather armor. Okay, so I got it. Okay. Well, the thief is definitely gonna hit. Okay. So his his it's the uh that go for range is 17, 17 minus. He hits uh armor class of negative two. Nice. The fighter's gonna miss entirely, right? Okay. The thief drops him. Four hit points. Okay. So uh, describe it. Oh, cool. He shoots him right in the back of the head. Yeah. <laughs> thief, the thief is very, very upset because they're no, they're little people like him. He takes insult to this. Yes. So immediately when he got his first shot, the fighter was still kind of mesmerized by how good his shot yeah. was. He was paying as much tender. Yeah. But he nails this thing right in the back of the basal yeah. Cranium, and, it, and you just see it, and the, the arrow comes out of his mouth, and he slams against the cage and slides down. As he slides down the cage, the arrow that's sticking out of his mouth makes a clank, 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 mm-hmm. all the way down the side of the metal yeah. like uh, slats of the entire cage as he goes down. Okay. All right. He used up one arrow. <laughs> oh. All right. The other guy um stops and he looks and he looks at the other guy, and the other guy clearly is dead. And um, the, but he's not running. He um, he basically pulls out his his uh, his uh, short sword, and uh, pulls out a uh, shield off his back, and he bangs it, and he says, "Oi, show yourself." Okay. All right. That's cool. <laughs> At this point, Borg. Uh, he's got a shield out, right? Shield and a sword. Yeah, yeah shield and sword. Okay, good. This is easy. All right. So Borg, let's let's just make this as delicious as possible. I'm going to put an F, like a cursive F. Yeah. That way I can just grab it and then pull him. Borg gotcha. is going to start moving out. He's going to knock another arrow, Thief, when this is mm-hmm. going on. Okay? And what he's doing, he goes, I am Borg. The defender of all that's out there. That's what he says, right? Because he's kind of like into himself a little bit. And as he's making this big speech, right? He's going to this big thing, yes. theatric things, pulls out his two-handed sword. He hasn't approached him. He's 30 yards away, yeah. right? Timmons is going to drop an arrow on this guy. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, Timmons, shoot! Ah. Uh, 17 minus 11 hits an armor class of six. Yeah, that would have got him. He's a he's oh, cool. leather, oh, leather, okay. leather, leather shield, right? Six hit points. Oh, it's really? Six hit points? Oh yes. my god. You um you snipe him twice. Um, so you hit him in the shoulder, he kind of spins, he gets down to one knee, and he says, The beautiful one will get you for this. And he falls back and dies and uh, well, the the um the gnomes in the cage are there um you'll notice that about three of them are moving three of them are not um one of them is trying to work on the lock two of them are trying to attend to the other ones uh, but you could tell that they're they're getting 
pretty anxious. Okay. All right. Timmons goes running over because he's like, yeah. how would you say, pretty um, yeah, pretty upset of all this. He goes over. He's gonna. So there's a lock. There is a. Yeah. There is a. There is a lock. And um, the, screw this. There's a, the first thing I do is inspect the body for a key. I'm not gonna try to pick a yeah, lock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the curly headed um young guy that's a uh, young gnome right. that's in there. He goes the big guy. Keys on the keys on the big guy. So Tim is over. He goes right away, right away. And over, he runs over. He starts looking through the big guy, yep. finds yep. the key, runs back over. Key rider on a rope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Um, so he opens up and he sees there's six of them, but three of them are not moving. There's well, there's three of them. Well, there's well, the, three of them look pretty badly hurt. And um, um, and and the the one that's that's awake that's under says, "I'm girly. I'm girly. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much." Bad men, yeah. bad, bad men. So, so, so Timmons, of course, uh, it's, it's like gnome the same height as a halfling? Or they Actually, halflings are a little taller than these gnomes. These yeah. gnomes, these gnomes are uh, probably about two and a half feet tall. Okay. All right. So he says, Most, but not. He says, what, what happened? What is the story here? What are, what were these men taking you? What does he mean by the beautiful mm -hmm. ones going to come get us? Oh, he's taking there's, I tell you what, it's a, we we need help. You can you can you can help us, but let's help me help me get these to Zadu. Come on, come on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. First of all, I, 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 man's got to pay the bills. He's gonna go over and start looking through the other guy's stuff. <laughs> okay. There's, he's inspecting anything, pockets. Sure. He's looking for gold pocket watch. He don't care what it is. He's he's sure. kind of playing about um. What you, what you, what you, what you, standing guard, but he's kind of moved more over to where yeah. they are, mm -hmm. kind of keeping a big eye what's going on. The cleric sure. is just for the ones that look really kind of messed up, he's probably sitting there just trying to help them as much sure. as possible. Like, I, and they, they, they and they look basically a little battered and bruised. I mean, one of them looks like, um, you know, really hurt, like can't move, so it's gonna, it's gonna okay. have to be carried, but the other two the are probably, yeah, um, but, right. but, 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 but they're, um, so. With Mr. Timmons's practice eye, kind of what you notice, um, for bandits, these are two raggedy individuals. I mean, okay. beat up, disgusting looking leather armor that probably you couldn't even resell. Um, even the swords, the, the uh, short swords that they had was not really worthless. They they do really, they, they do have um, just about um, between them 11 copper pieces you know, like five wow. on one and six on the other. But what you do find is one very, very shiny gold coin. Which is, it's weird with the copper. It's just, it's not, I mean, like. Oh, he's going he's gonna to inspect it very closely. Is there a weird emblem on it? Weird face on it? Is there anything? No, it's actually, it actually looks like gold coin that's used in the city. Okay. It's just, it's shiny. And oh, really? Just having a shiny gold coin on these ragamuffins is kind of, you know, copper and silver you could say, but a gold coin. Um, they um, but the uh, girlie's like, um, hey, we we gotta we gotta we gotta get back in the woods Th this way. Okay, this way. He says, okay, right. They're definitely gonna follow because it's mm -hmm. getting dark and they don't tr they don't want to be out here. They don't know who these guys are if they have friends, right? Yeah. So they're going to stay with him as, I guess, the speed will be a, comparable to, I mean, I don't think the fighter or the cleric, because they'll be human being able to move through things, but they want to make sure they don't lose track of these guys, because if they're, yeah. if they're nose, they might disappear in the woods. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, <laughs> they don't get stuck in the middle of the woods somewhere without you. Yeah, no, 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 no. As you guys go, as they start moving you into the, into the forest, deeper in the forest, um, the path seems to just... There is no path. I mean, at some point you are literally, yeah. I mean, Mr. Timmons is not having a difficult time following him, but the fighter and the cleric, Anwar, I mean, you really got to keep a careful eye, almost to the point that sometimes the gnomes are getting tired of waiting for you. So what, one of them okay. is holding each of your hands and kind of walking you through the forest and okay. there's brush and um, you're not very happy with I mean, it is it is like you're walking through force that you shouldn't be walking through. It is it is a hard slog going. But then you get to this opening in the forest okay. um, where the grass is 
just the greenest grass. I mean, night has come up. You guys have been walking out for a couple hours. You're actually pretty tired. Um, okay. And Gurley basically says, don't don't make a fire here. Uh, this is a special place. Uh, but but we're safe here. You can rest here in this in this in this in this glen. Thank you so very 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 much. Um, okay. Uh, hey. Uh, so, uh, do uh, I just kind of I don't know much about gnome culture. Oh yeah. Do you yeah. have a leader? Do you have a king? How does that work oh, out? Oh yeah, we have lots. Of, we well we we have. And you know dwarves, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Dwarves. Okay, definitely. dwarves. Well, we're dwar- gnomes are kind of like dwarves, except we're a little uh craftier. We like uh, making gadgets and gadgets and we've got clans and we've got kings and we've got chieftains. So, so the que- the question I have for you is who was trying to take you? Where were they trying oh. to take you to? Because we never really got to talk about this. We were too yeah, busy getting yeah. oh, to get no, out of here. Oh, it's we're we're going to get you some food and we'll we'll tell you the whole story. Um, okay. And, uh, All right. Some of them are some of them are actually making, trying to make. They're they're getting, not fresh lumber, but lumber. They're they're making pallets and leaves and things, and they're you know they're kind of okay. doing they're 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 they're, um, they're doing their things, and they're they're getting berries and stuff and things that you probably don't really want to eat. But anyway, um, you probably have your own rations. But they're they're kind of mixing that stuff up Please for do. you. Um, but um, no, Gurley says um. So, um, there, there's this evil, 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 evil cleric. They they call him Mr. Beautiful, but we don't know that much about him. But what we do know is that our, um, many of our homes in the area, they've been attacked, um, and we've overrun by kobolds and goblins, and they're they're gathering us up. But we, it's not just gnomes. We've also seen them take some of you big folk and they what? What? the big they, folk you like your type humans and they really? they 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 put them in cages and take them i i don't know i just what i have heard is um one of the guards said something about the temple of elemental evil oh and i don't i've don't know what that is but i know someone who who a might um in the morning i'm going to take you to to uh zagu and um zagu i he's he said we needed to find help and help we found your help thank you help yes we are help we are here to help it is a noble cause this is timmons talking of course Anwar turns around and he says, I will always fight a just cause because I believe in all that is law. And then Bora goes, I fight for my companions. They have helped me and I will help them too. The whole time they're thinking, of course, at this point, Borg turns to, to Anwar and says, I don't like anything called Temple of Evil. I just think this is a very bad idea. <laughs> And oh, Timmons goes, oh, you're always so scared of everything. He goes, yeah, really, it's not the Temple of Nice or the Temple of, eh, you know, we'll see what happens. It's Temple of Evil. Evil, evil. Well, I, but, I, I but, think we should be aware. I think we should do it. But I think we should be like, really, uh, you know, this is not going to go well. But let's just yeah. be honest with ourselves. Yes. But they're well, cool about it. Well, so 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 you guys are going to bed down at night? Um, yes. Is any of we got gonna... rations? I actually was able to buy food, so they could eat one of their you rations. You got rations? Oh, as oh yeah. As, you, as soon as you open up the rations, the gnomes are very interested in the rations. Um, oh. they're they think it's they think that they think that's wild. There's a can that you open something up, and there's like food inside. They're just absolutely. Um, they just think that's the coolest thing in the world. And one of them st- takes out a little sketch pad, and they're actually sketching something. About you know, um, I don't know how far away from a water source because we have a we have water skins, but we probably have to fill these things up. Oh, yeah, we we ask him all these questions. We're like, girly, you know, girl, girl, gonna... girly says, girl, girl, yeah, give me the water skins. I there's I I'll be right back. I'll be right right back. Okay, all right, cool, he, cool. he all gathers right. up all the water skins and he comes back with with it's all fresh water. He's like, oh, we know the forest. We 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 know we know the forest. So the, Tim is turns around. He's, Sitting there, smoking his pipe, right? After it's over, kind of sitting there. He's kind of looking at Anwar and goes, 
So you cleric people can turn bad, huh? <laughs> so and are you guys? Of are course, you guys, the kind of looking at him. I'm not bad. He goes, I'm just saying. I, I was he good at one time, and then he decided I don't want to be good anymore and start doing bad things. Or was he always bad? There's questions. Know. But they and he's come, called the beautiful one, or Mister well, Beautiful. They, they or said like something about the beautiful one. Yes. He says he just has a, he has an issue with this. Timmons doesn't like this whole hocus pocus magic stuff to begin with. But on top of it, knowing that somebody can be a cleric and then be bad doesn't fit well with him. Yeah. But after his rations and sitting around and drinking some water and smoking his pipe, he feels like it's time to turn in. So he leaves out his bedroll and stuff like that. And he he's kind of like ask he asks it very kindly, Mike, you're gonna hate me for this, uh, girly. Uh, can you sing me a gnome song? I've never heard one. Oh yeah, of course we can. Of course we can. Oh, what are you and doing? they Mike? start. They start. No, you start. You they sing start. It. You're the they, DM. I want to hear this song. <laughs> they start. They start humming this beautiful counter melody back and forth, and then the birds start coming in, and actually some of the um, some of the uh, the, the yeah. squirrels start making percussive sounds. On the oh, nice. trees, yeah, it's nice. it is absolutely, it, and it's just absolutely, it it is it is it is mesmerizing. But my okay, question to you is, oh, no <laughs> but my what? question to you is, anybody going to? Are you going to take shifts, to staying staying up in the night, or are you all going to go to sleep at the same time? Now we're with these guys, right? Our buddies. Yeah. We we did save these guys, right? Yeah. Uh as uh, Timmons falls asleep pretty quickly because he feels like he's been through yeah. a lot. Uh, Borgash straight up, and he goes, "Girly, oh, can I ask you a question? Um, are we okay sitting here? Are we gonna be okay to sleep here? Or is are one of you guys gonna stay with us and watch, or do you guys go off and go to sleep? I don't know girly, much about y'all." Gir, gir, girly um um gets real close to Borg, like right about where his hip is, and yep. kind of curls up in a little ball and falls immediately asleep right 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 next to him. Girly goes, "I'll take first watch." <laughs> <laughs> and somehow these guys were able to capture six of these guys. They probably were sleeping when it happened. <laughs> they were, and and they are, they are out. Okay, all right. So Gurley's definitely gonna take yeah. first watch, and then he'll he'll wake up Anwar. Okay, and then of course Mr. Timmons will be last. He's got to get the most sleep because he's a halfling. Okay. He has to have that. Um, <laughs> give me give me give me a twenty sided die roll. Okay. I rolled an 18. You rolled an 18. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. The, um, your your shift passes, but you didn't really notice anything. I mean, okay. um, there were um, animals. There, there. You were in a big forest. You know, okay. there you you saw birds and things, and but you didn't really notice anything, anything unusual. Okay. okay. All right. Yep. All right. So uh, after his like four hour shift, he walks. Yeah. He goes over to Anwar, kind of kicks him. He goes, Anwar, <laughs> he says, uh, "It's my, my turn to sleep. You're gonna have to go to. You have to wake up now." Anwar just kind of like goes, "What?" Because I thought these guys. He says these guys were caught, man, by sleeping probably. <laughs> but I'm not gonna sit out here in the woods and have someone watch what's going on. He goes, "All right." So kind of Anwar um, gets up. Walks over, kind of leaves it, gets his stuff a little bit. He decides now's a good time to start like praying, right? So sure. he's kind of like tuning in, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he's staying alert, but he's kind of like kind All of right. focusing a little bit on, on the goodness so of his life. It's, it's a, it's so right now it's probably about two in the morning ish, okay. right? Yeah. Right. right. Okay. Um, the sky is three, three moons full. All, okay. all, all three moons are up. You are in this. Uh, twenty by thirty open glen, beautiful grass kind of opening area. Okay, and you hear something rustle on the far side of the glen. Um, okay, let's get this. And I got little guys here, right? How many little guys do I have around us? There's six? about there's about there's about six little guys, and um, as you're looking in that direction, um. Okay. A magnificent white horse with a unit with a horn on the top of his head walks directly into the glen 
and looks at you. Oh, okay. This will be interesting. And, and there no is a about my artwork. My artwork is no, fantastic. No comment about your artwork, but there is a recognition. There is okay. uh, this feeling in your chest as if you you know you you can barely breathe, and okay. the unicorn right. just stops and stares at your cleric. Stares at the cleric. Yeah. You're the only one awake, okay. right? You're the one looking at him. You were the one praying. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's the one awake. Okay. I thought, okay. Yeah. I was just like, all right. And stares at the right. cleric and then looks right. at the um looks at the gnomes. Okay. And give me a roll on a twenty sided dice. Okay. All right. Roll on a twenty sided dice. I rolled a two. That's that's perfect. Low was low. Oh. This is what you wanted. You wanted below your. Oh, wisdom. okay. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. And then no. I um, what you what you, what you I don't know. This part I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> what you what you what you notice very very clearly. There is a sadness about the unicorn, and you notice a tear, roll down, his eyes. Okay. And he kind of just looks at you. Yeah, and he very stately walks off into the back into the woods. Is there time for me to talk to this thing before it takes off? You can try. Okay. He says, uh, well, um, I just messed up. There we go. I'm just not doing good today. We do. Where's my... I keep pushing the wrong button. I lost my. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. <laughs> I keep doing it. All right. We don't need it. I'm going to write you. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you for your course a little better than us. There we go. All right. <laughs> Anyways, he says, um, he goes, there's a lot to be sorry for, but there's a lot to be very thankful for. That's what he says to the unicorn. As it's kind of staring at it before it wanders off. Yeah. Um, he sees what the reaction to the unicorn is when he says that. Unicorn stops, looks at him, like really, really looks, like piercing look. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a there's a recognition. Um, okay. And then there's this thought in your in your head. There's death in my forest. Make it stop. That's why we're here. That's what he says out loud, even though yeah. this guy's communicating by thoughts. Yeah. That's why we're here. That's why my friends and I are here. He stamps his hoof and he right. wanders off. Okay, that's cool. All right, he had like a really cool experience. Mm -hmm. That's cool. All right. So, oh, Mike, look what I could do. This was kind of cool. Yeah. I didn't. I'm learning stuff. This is kind of easy. I don't have to draw crap. Well, I do draw crap. <laughs> not really draw crap. I mean, it's like We're, we are practicing. I mean, for yeah, we used to do this. All, we used to do this all the time. It was yeah. Like so much easier because it was like really yeah. cool. All right. Cool. All right. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, uh. Yeah, so he sits there. He sits there. He's thinking about it the rest of the time. He's just kind of sitting there. He's like, hmm. "Death in the forest." I wonder if it's more than just the gnomes. Yeah. Like, why would a unicorn really care about six little gnomes sitting here? And he's saying there's groups and groups of people. He's saying people. So maybe it's actually even more than the gnomes and more than people. It could be animals. It could be things that. So, so he is all this stuff's rattling to this, you know, Anwar's head as he goes on through the night. You know, he's thinking, why a, a unicorn wouldn't care if humans were being caught up or halflings or so. So it must be something more than that. So he sits perplexed. He doesn't know what to do. He's praying to his deity the whole time, trying to figure out what the whole thing's about. But uh, okay. yeah, I don't know what else encounter he's going to run into tonight. But right now. This has him flummoxed, but he also decides he's going to kind of keep all this to himself. Sure. So, so what? Sure. So I don't think what, anybody else gives much out of it. 
So what spell are you praying for when you're... I don't know. Does he get a first level spell? He does now. He does now? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, all he thinks about perpetually is healing. Okay. Obviously, because of what's happened. So I guess he would eventually get um, cure light wounds based okay. on what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because so, he's just so, so, so you're praying and praying and praying. Um, yes. In the morning, you get the realization that you can cast cure light wounds. Oh, wow. And okay, cool. you, you also can cast detect magic. Whoa. Oh, wrong. Awesome. He already has like just okay. just just for this this day. Okay. All right. You've got you've got cure light wounds and you have and you have and you have detect magic. Okay. Sweet. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, he kind of feels pretty good about his uh mm -hmm. wow, that's pretty impressive. Unicorns are awesome, man. They should visit me more often. Yeah, that only makes sense, right? It's okay, different. and then and 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 when you wake up in the morning, yeah, yeah, all the five of the gnomes are gone. They're all gone, except the brown-haired little curly brown-haired uh, girly, G U R L E <laughs> girly. He is yeah. He, he is um he is kind of in a ball curled up next to um a board vice <laughs> okay cool all right kind of got, got his head on his thigh he's uh, using it as a pillow i'll put him right there there you go now he's looking good right okay so all the other guys are gone so there's only yeah. one there yeah all right okay cool all right nice okay all right so we wake up and eventually uh borg's getting up i guess the sun's coming up yeah. uh the uh cleric goes I think you have to wake up early. We got to know where to go. Right now, I'm a little, a little clueless. Yeah. Hey, he says, um, guys, uh, did you rest well last night? Did you feel, how'd you feel? Did you feel oh. this was a safe place? Yeah. Everybody is yeah. well rested and. Okay. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, this is a, this is a sacred mission we're on. We just didn't, I don't think we knew this walking in. But I think I think this is where we're supposed to be at this point in time in our lives. I, I think we're we're up for something great. That's what he says. Yeah. Of course, Timmons wakes up immediately, laying down. He's, he's laying on his back. He's packing his pipe. He just sticks it in his mouth, kind of lights it with his flint. He starts smoking it before he even picks up his head. He comes up. He has a he has a tobacco problem. He's like. <laughs> He's like, oh man. Uh he goes, I know I didn't take a watch last night, and I know you guys all did, but man, do I feel well rested. <laughs> Amar only took four hours. I don't know if you're gonna give him a, a penalty today, because he only got four hours of rest because he stayed the whole night. Uh you we'll just see. you decide this thing's happened. But the thing about we'll it see. was like, yes. Huh? Yeah, we'll he see. He didn't switch out. He never switched uh, out. So it was Borg. Yeah. And more, yeah. yeah. Borg got, and then Timmons left. Yeah. switched with Timmons. Yeah, I guess he was so yeah. perplexed by the unicorn, he didn't know what to do. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what happens there. I don't know. Magically so, refreshed. So really, um, so, so 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 Gurley um wakes up and goes, okay, um, well, the best way to get to Zagu is to call Zagu. Zagu, Zagu. <laughs> and so out of the woods comes the oldest looking gnome you've ever seen in your life. I mean, oh, okay. this guy looks like um, you don't even know how old gnomes grow, but this guy's okay. like, you know, paper, th anyway, okay. wiry old gnome, gray hair. And, um, he comes up and he says, "Oh, girly, you you did find the heroes. Super. Um, okay. Now he turns to the three of you and says, "We need your help. Um, the Cobalts have overrun Marbuckle Hill, 
um, Gurley can take you there, but we need you to save Moxie Murbuckle. Now, many of the gnomes escaped the hill, but there are still a number of gnomes that are captured there, and they're being held by the kobolds. And we think that they're going to be sent off to some slave pit or something. We don't know. But we need you to save Moxie Murbuckle. Will oh, you be Moxie be? Murbuckle salvation? Yes, we will, definitely. That's why we're here. Oh, definitely. Oh. Well, we gnomes know we we have a great, great, great sense of gratitude. And um we really, really, really want you to help. Um we don't have that much money though. And we we, we know what we want, but 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 there is some funds that we could we we know that you humans like uh gems. We got some gems, we know you like gold, but one thing we do have uh -huh. that I can bequeath to you if you would help us save Moxie Murbuckle, I have a few items that oh. might be helpful. Timmons goes, items? We love items. What items might you have? <laughs> oh, you know, ooh, 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 ooh. Do we have? Oh, and we make some too. We make all, all sorts of nifty things. So he sits down, um, crisscross applesauce right in front of you, pulls out this little knapsack bag out of his thing. He starts oh. rummaging around. He's putting his hand in the bag, and you could you could see that 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 he's putting his hand way further in than he really should be putting it in. Um, he pulls out um, a cloak, and he says, "If you're going to get close to any any sort of gnome habitat where we live, you're uh -huh. going to have to sneak pretty sneaky." And this cloak just might help. It's not really gnomish, but it is elvish. And he elvish hands, cloak. and he hands Timmons an elvish cloak. Okay, so Timmons is definitely going to put this thing on. All right. Um, you are you practically disappear in the woods, even more than you oh. are skilled at being your. I mean, it's it's it it is an elven cloak. Nice. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Timmons is very excited. He puts it on. He kind of models it. Swings yeah. around a little bit with it. He goes, now I'm here, now I'm not. And he's like having some fun with it, obviously, because yeah. that's what Timmons would do, right? Yeah. So um, so then what he does for the um he's he kind of reaches in, he's kind of kind of he's not it's not pulls out he's can't then all of a sudden he keeps pulling out this bastard sword. It's uh oh got a black hilt with a black casing and Whoa. in there's a a gem that's sort of um embossed in by the hilt thing okay and um he turns to borg and he says what is your name uh, my name is borg oh borg adjustful well that this belongs to you this is really? this is the borg this is this is the sword of borg what? This, is, this is fitting and he hands you the sword okay so i take it in both of hands as i have received it's a scarab i don't know i'm, I'm assuming yeah. i don't know all right he's he's taking a look at it so he's looking for engravings and stuff he says borg a sword sword of borg no there's he's just around a, looking for engravings to say that he's like there, really there, confused there, there's right? there's like, not, oh. but there is there is an engraving of basically a um a, a gem um okay. stone that's on the thing and gemstones are kind of the sign of um of uh, gnomes okay and he says people will know that you that you are a gnome friend when you wield this and when you pull the um the the bastard sword you can use it one-handed or you can use it two two-handed right completely solid black blade with black handle black emboss with that um gold gem cool. thing in there with a black but it swings um it's a magic sword okay you get the feeling it's a bastard sword plus one. Oh, cool so what da what does it do as far as damage i'm not sure i can't remember what bastard swords do oh well, Buster, if, 
they used to call them whatever they yeah they couldn't even say bastard swords back in the day so um right. wow that's gonna in, help yeah in 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 this book basically <laughs> it was if i'm not mistaken um the sword yeah, we are we are doing basic are we not yeah yes um, we are yeah so oh they do the they they put the damage on page 54. yeah it's way out a different book i mean well at least this book it is on. yeah uh-huh. oh my gosh mike we're being the worst players in the world we're checking books we that's are not, that's not legal I, yeah. I th- so yeah so it's going to be it's going to be a 1d8 if you're swinging it with one hand and it's going to be 1d8 plus one if you're swinging it with with uh with uh two hands okay so it's 1d8 plus one okay cool all right and it's gotcha. a, but it's a plus one sword so if you swing so with it's two 1D8 hands, plus, two. plus two yeah so it's i'm sorry say it so if it's one-handed it's just one-handed 1D8. it's going to be 1d8 plus one because it's a magic sword plus okay. one if it's if you're going to swing it two-handed it's going to be a 1d8 plus two Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, cool, sweet, yep. nice. So he bows. He actually bows to Zagu. He says, "Thirty yeah. says, I am honored by that you gave this to me. I, I will use this to rid you of your oppressive enemies. I will free mm-hmm. what's it, Mudbuckle Hill. I'll free those that are pinned down on Mudbuckle Hill. Oh, yes. And then he takes his sword and he goes down to a one D, mm-hmm. right? And then he holds the sword up and he goes like this, and then he takes it." And he puts it in the sheath and stands back up. That's what he does. He, he's very theatrical. Gur- Gurgle smiles, girly smiles to Zagu. Zagu smiles to girly says, you picked well. You picked well. Picked well, champions. Yes, you did. All right. Um, now, he's looking hard at the cleric. Okay. And he's trying to assess. Is this... He's trying to he's trying to get a sense of um he says, Oh you've had an experience. And he just kind of looks around, he looked at his friends at this point, he kind of goes, Well, you know, maybe I maybe it was late. It's kind of goes like he he's trying to like play it down a little bit. Sure. <laughs> he's not he doesn't want them asking a bunch of questions. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So, 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 so he 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 reaches in, and he says, and he says to you before he pulls this out, he says, having faith in a god is wonderful. Having an understanding of other gods and how they all work together is even better and this is nothing that is going to take away from your relationship with your god and he pulls out and it's basically it's a small amulet of a of a of a of a unicorn head Ooh. And he says, but this doesn't take away from your relationship with your God. Oh. So many paths lead to your God. So so Anwar holds his hand out and then kind of bows and then looks diligently at the at the amulet. Yeah. And obviously kind of like flips it over, looks at the back of it. It it's is obviously on a necklace that he would mm-hmm. wear. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. And he turns to me, he says, he says, I, I am like a pebble in the stream. The water carries me and <laughs> and I, I have a hard time defining the stream. So he, yeah. he turns around, he puts it on his neck yeah. like right. that. That's what he says. He's, he's very happy. He's more mm-hmm. happy than you can imagine yep. that he saw that. He, now he says, I, I guess, I guess it wasn't a dream. That's what he yeah. says. The Zagu, so yeah. Zazu, whatever his name is, Zagu. Zagu, Zagu. 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 Yeah. So Zagu now says, he's like now he's like even really, yeah, kind of like really in his own head, lack of sleep, and now he's like freaking out a little bit because yeah. now he's starting to think that maybe Zagu was the unicorn. 
Well, because that's how um, he would think at this point. Maybe this was a Z Z this is one of those Zaku, known spells. He started to think like Zagu says, "Gurley's going to take you to uh, to uh, to the to the Murbuckle home, the Murbuckle Hill." But um, be safe. And are you saying Marbuckle? How do you spell that? Murbuckle. M I R. M I R. B U C K L E. B U C K L E. All right. Yeah. Murbuckle. Murbuckle. It's a home hill of, or home. But, well, yes. Hill? Okay, oh, okay. Murbuckle Hill. It's a All home right. and it's a hill. And it's the home of Moxie Murbuckle. Moxie. Okay, I, I, I remember that. I just want to make sure. He's my I cousin. Saw. So the only person that's actually able to write right here, I think, would be the uh, the cleric. So yeah. Right. It's down his little diary. Yes. Yeah. The two guys don't write. It's, it's, not, their, it's not their nature. It's just yeah. not what they're going to do. So the, the 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 cleric's kind of like a historian. He's like writing the adventures down. Yeah. He figures, let you know, it'll have meaning to alcoholites when he eventually establishes order further right out. Mm. They they both think and they say, yeah, as soon as we you get us on our way, we'd yeah. be more than happy to 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 take care of the situation. Girlie's they, girlie's girlie's gonna walk you there right now. And so Zagu gets up. Um, okay. And at this point, you you notice that. There are about four of the biggest owls you've ever seen in your life that are on each point of this. Um, and one of them kind of flies down and Zagu gets on the back of one of these owls and takes off. Nice. Um, so um, now, Gurley's all Give excited. Give the church around and looks at the other two guys and goes, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Gurley's like, Gurley starts talking to you about, um, oh, the Murbuckle home is famous, known throughout all of the Gnome Kingdom as one of the the, the greatest homes. Uh, and we cannot believe that the kobolds overran them, especially because they had some of the best trained giant ferrets like you wouldn't believe that would clean up all the rats. And we just we just could be and Gurley's talking. You guys are walking, you're walking. You're walking about an hour, and then all of a sudden, Gurley starts getting really, really quiet, and he turns to you, and he kind of okay. does this. And then, as you're moving through the woods, there's very little here. He points to a hill up above, and he goes, just remember, gnomes are really good at making secret entrances and also having lookouts. And if the kobolds are in there, they might be able to see us coming. It's that hill over there. And do you see that white oak tree that's to the left? There's a door right near that. I know there's a door right near there. Um, and yeah, and it's right there. It's that hill right there. Huh. So, uh, him and says, I got an idea. Why don't I go scout ahead? And we'll see whether or not we can find any of these guys or at least who's guarding that room. That's what he says. Okay. Of course, he's whispering and trying to be as quiet as all because why get heard, right? Yep. So he turns around and he says, um, Hi, uh, Anwar. Do you remember that time you drew that picture? <laughs> he goes, yeah. Why don't you show that picture of what what a uh, what a cobalt looks like again? Because I can't remember. I haven't ran into one in a long time. So Anwar opens up his book and goes, "You mean this picture right here?" He yes. goes, <laughs> "Oh yeah, those. Okay, all right. So, how big are these things?" And Anwar says, "Uh." You weren't there when you fought them? He goes, <laughs> no, actually, I was hiding. I only got one hit point. He goes, okay, well, they're about your height. Okay, so they're not real big. No, no, yeah. they're very little. They're about mm -hmm. your size. He goes, okay, all right. All right, so immediately, oh, I guess that, um, he's gone. Let's take him out. All right, so uh, Timmons is going to put his elven cloak on, try to keep himself totally as concealed as possible. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go off, and I guess it's an oak tree, right? You said it was a. You see it, yeah. There, I mean, he's okay. he he pointed to a white oak tree, but as white oak, Tim, right? Yeah, he's gonna inspect the area first of all. He's gonna make sure 
quietly by walking around. Um, and he's going to actually do a spiral. It's kind of weird. So he's going to spiral till he gets closer to it. If, and I say spiral, like he starts 40 mm -hmm. feet out, okay. moving as quiet as he possible. He's looking for any kind of guards. Once Are he you... finds a guard, he's going to stop his spiral and just get an idea. I'll get a head count. I mean, so he's just trying to see. He's going all the way around from all angles because we don't know what to expect. Are right. you, um, okay? So you're kind of you're looking around. Are you wearing the cloak or not? Oh yeah. Oh, I totally cloaked. Yes. Hood up, everything. Yes. Okay. Um. So as you're walking around the tree. Okay. When you get on, you get on the far side of that tree, and you're about. You said you're about forty feet away. Um, you said you were you you were you were you, were, you said forty yards. We start 40? from four. I'm going to start from forty. Kind of make a circle. I mean, we're going to take our time here. I and got then you. after forty foot, he's going to kind of move it a little bit, like at ten okay. feet in, and start making a concentric circle. And the I idea was like. He doesn't want to get detected, but he also wants to see from all angles before he gets. Okay. You know, he's not sure. being stupid here, right? I, I got you. I got you. Okay. So, so as you are walking quietly, as a halfling, okay. you got no all shoes right. on. You're wearing an elven cloak. Um, you actually um smell like wet dog, and okay. you. And you hear heavy breathing, and it's coming from about less than five feet from you, Ooh, nice below breathing. you. What? Less than five. Say it again. So as you're as you're walking, or there's this there's this hill, right? And the hill there is foliage and there's um uh -huh. rocks and there's trees and things that are easy to hide behind but you'll also notice that um when you hear that and you notice one of these terrain features a little higher than the other and okay. you you get the sense i mean like you smell wet dog coming from there but you don't see an entrance way I don't see an entrance way, but I smell. These yeah. Things. Oh, yeah. And you and you and you okay. and you and you and you hear. Um, okay. Soft, muffled voices back and forth. In a language you don't speak, Kobol, do you? No, I do not. Yeah, so you Did don't I detect know. approximately how many different vocalic groups there. Like there's one, about two, no, there's, there's about two in a hushed tone. Okay. I cannot see them. Mm -hmm. I can hear them, and I'm approximately not not from where you are now. Thirty but, feet from but, the source. But but what? no no no, you are probably less than five or six feet from the source. Oh, that's you, not good. You, you 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 hear it near you, but it's not. You're. You get the sense that it's basically to your left and down. Like in the ground? Mm hmm Okay. Um, I'm within five feet. Okay, I'm going to freeze, like totally, not move at all. I got this cloak on, and I'm going to very, very, very. I'm talking like micro move. Yeah. <laughs> to to try to get a visual. I'm like, you say it's to the left and down, so I'm going to try to look down, but I'm trying to move as slow as sure. possible, so I'm undetected. It's almost like that thing where you play that game, mm -hmm. like this, Mike. I'm like. <laughs> I'm moving, but I'm barely moving. I, I'm, moving. I'm, I'm I got you. Trying to make any rustle whatsoever, because okay. I want to. I want to get a visual here. Of what are they sure. in the ground or in the stump of the okay. tree or so, in the doorway? So, I promise so, right. All right. So what I want you to do is, um, 
erase everything on the that you have on the uh, screen. Okay. Uh, let's see. Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten. Go. Okay, so like where the corner of where the date is. Yeah. Okay. Go one, two, three, four, five. Go five down. Okay. And then go one, one two, three, four, five, six. Let me one, two, three, four, five, six. Six over. This way. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. So kind of where 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 you where you ended that that line. Uh huh. Um. Okay. In that box, not right there. Uh. Down. Yeah. Go, yeah. Go down. Okay. And then go to the left. One. To the left. Yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So like at the yeah at the end of that box. Okay. okay. Um um where that ended um basically what you're what you notice is you see actually four eyes two sets of eyes staring through a slit that's a, a little bit above the ground and there are two kobolds desperately trying to stare out of that slit trying to look around because they heard something they weren't sure so if you go um well go to the end of that line you well you you the do open end or closed end the uh, closed end okay and put two slit to two sets no, of eyes yeah, there with within that box okay or yeah or yeah yeah or use draw an a that that's a uh, if you want however you want to do it but anyway basically but there's no way in there it's just that you that you you know that there's two kobolds looking out through this sort of um split out post looking thing like it's a observation point set in the highest points of the hill it's in the hill yeah they're built into the hill so 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 you walked right over them they're not sure what it is but they are inside there kind of trying looking out okay so here's the question mm -hmm. here's one here's two let's let's play this game okay mm -hmm. these guys are here oh god and they're right. they're 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 i mean and it's almost so are you saying are you saying the hill is like this are you saying the hill is like this no i'm saying and that i'm here i'm saying you're on top of the hill and they're on this little outcropping where this kind of sticks out of the hill, and there's little slits, and they are staring out of that, and you are you've walked right by them. Oh, so so okay. Da, da, so does the slit go in five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty for thirty feet? Well, in? I gave you that because we're mapping. You don't know that. All you all you all you oh. know is a, a it's that there's this there's this prominent thing sticking out of the hill. That has okay. kind of slipped around it, and deep down in your bones, you're trying not to laugh because you're staring right at them, and they're staring right at you, but they can't see you, and this is kind of giddy to you. <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm trying. I'm trying to visualize this. So yeah. you say it's a prominent thing. It's like a column. Yeah. Like imagine. Um. Imagine there's a hill. And there's a like a little thing sticking out of the hill with slits in it, like a uh, pimple on a side of a dog. Uh, I screwed you up with the with the mapping the inside, but you wouldn't have known that. I was just trying to place it so once you start okay. mapping. So basically, it kind of does this. Let's say it's a it's a well, it's actually really a horrible drawing. Yeah. But let's say it goes up, it goes down the hill. Yeah. I'm above the situation. Yes. Right? So you say, okay, so this is Timmons, right? Yeah. And then I hear voices, but they're like somehow in a slit going this way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, it's like 
they heard a, a rustle out there, but they don't know what it is that they heard, and they're trying to okay. stare. They're looking, but they can't All see. Right. But you can clearly see through the slit, and you can see. Um, so okay, here's the question. So, uh, okay, this is a great question. I mean, if you can imagine, uh, on the natural scene. Um, they're they're not. They know I'm there, but they don't know I'm there. They don't know they what's no, out there. They don't know what it is. Yeah. And they're looking, but you could tell that there's two kobolds and they're looking out of these this sort of slit in the side of the hill. Okay, so I'm how far above the slit? Are you? Oh, you're you're probably you about said five feet, right? So I'm yeah, about, five, about five, feet five, yeah, you're, you're five feet, six feet away this from is stupid. Ah, uh, but but you can't fit in that slit. No, I didn't think so. All right. Um, uh, well, technically, you don't know who I am. Tactically, I am going to very quietly, if you can imagine, right, mm -hmm. move from the opening, always staying above it. Okay. To try to move around the top of this quote unquote lookout mm -hmm. thing that they have going on. So does this slip from my observation? Is it like a dotted line that kind of goes all the way around? They have just intervals where they can look through. Yeah, but there's but what you start noticing is that um, there are there's another prominent sort of outcropping, you know, above the hill that looks kind of similar to this one, you know, because once you get oh, there's another the, hill. Yeah, there's there's you are you are on a large hill that goes around and within this hill there's little croppings that stick up or about or at, and you're starting to notice oh. that um this is a know. feature we're seeing oh god yeah. hmm. so i'm looking at like this i got mm -hmm. several of these characters things going yeah. on here mm -hmm. oh well i don't want to be detected but so how many hills total do i have going on here well, it's say. one. It's one large hill, but right now you have you have you have noticed. Um, I mean, it's outcropping. Uh, I guess observational. You you have you you've noticed two of them. Okay, two of them. Two, sort of. Um, you call them observation points. Yes. Mm. So is that the only thing I can see? Two um, of these observational points, and the the reason I'm asking is that, like, are they observing to protect like a main entrance, like well, one here, one here, an entrance over here, or is it just just observational points? It's kind there, of like, there. There is that one observation point that you were next to is probably about um, let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, about sixty feet from the entrance. From but, the entrance to what's the entrance to Muck Muck Mirbuckle? Yeah, Mir to, to, to 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 Mirbuckle. Uh, but there's maybe other entrances. But you also notice that um, um, there's there's trees and foliage. I mean, you the fighter and the cleric could get to the door and not be seen if they stayed on the other side of the of the uh, tree line. Okay. Well, that's what we're gonna do. We have too many things here. That'd be hard. All right. But if you start walking around on top of this hill, you know that they're they're going to know that you're there. Okay, we're definitely going to do. All right, so the thief is going to get back and see his observation point. We're going to try to look at this entire thing. Is what is the easiest way to get to the entrance of Mirbuckle Hill, right? Okay. Without being detected, if it's creeping along a tree line and eventually getting within, uh, how would you say? Uh, 20 30 feet of the actual entrance mm -hmm. uh that's that's our goal that's that's yeah. what we're looking for okay. that's and then we could probably then then mr timmons go out there and, and do the next like first we're just trying to get close to the entrance i got you all, all right. right okay groovy well erase all this and let's get going <laughs> okay <laughs> all right cool <laughs> all right so um, do me a favor, move that uh, over to the right-hand side. 
Okay. And um, let's see. From the title and date um, screen, uh, yeah. go down. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Go down seven. Well, we'll go down. Yeah. Well, yeah. That that that'll work. Okay. Okay. So, um, from there, so you're coming up the this left side. Ah, okay. All right. Nice. Um. Okay. Um. You're moving along. You do see this um very ornate wooden door, but it's small. It's not. It's you know. It's like about you know four and a half okay. feet tall door, uh, which is pretty big for uh, a forest gnome. Um, but it's 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 in the side of the it's it's in the side of the tree and um. In the side of the tree. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Nice. All right. And it looks closed. Okay. So. All right. So, Timmons is definitely going to. Uh, gosh, Timmons. All right. He's going to go in there with his elven cloak. What time of the? It's first thing in the morning. Yeah. He's. Yeah. He's going to move as quiet as he's possible. I don't know how far, how many feet does he have to move to get to this thing without getting out of the tree line and all that mess? Oh, no, it's actually, this one's within the tree line. Oh, shoot. Okay, great. All right, so he's going to move up to it and then listen at the door, which is supposed to be like a two out of six. That's on you, though. Okay. You don't, you don't, you don't hear anything. Okay. All right. He is going to, is the door locked? It is not. Oh, okay. So he's going to very, very quietly try to lift the latch okay. and open the door. Um, from the how far we we're not far away. Uh, this being the case, I guess you're going to tell me what I'm doing when I'm when I'm doing right or wrong. All right, T, and I'm going to put a I'm going to put a what 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 I'm going to put this. This is Borg, all right. Oh, what I do? Is, Borg will be there, and let's put Anwar over here. Uh, and we're over here. Tim is obviously being smaller, so I got the letter right. I want to um, essentially have Borg. He's going to knock an arrow. In case something goes awry, he can drop a shot. In case yeah. somebody comes out on Timmons, right? right? And we're staying close to Borg. Not that he has... I, I, I don't know what he's going to be able to do. By the time he slings a sling, it could be a mess. But anyways, so Timmons is going to kind of like go... Into the door? Is this into the doorway? I assume we're going yeah, this way. Yeah, this yeah, way. You, no, yeah. You're going to go up. So, 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 so when you when you open up the door, okay. and there is immediately there's um, steps that go down uh, okay. ten feet and then go to a five foot landing. These are these are five foot squares, and um, okay. so you've got steps um, going down ten feet. Okay, ten feet. Yep. All right. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. And then come to a landing. And then it all comes right. to a landing and it ends. And that's all you can see because it's dark down there. Oh, crap. All right. Cool. All right. All right. We got this going on. All right. So Tim is able to take a look. But you but you do see that, that it ends in a wall. Uh, in, 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 in it comes to a you. T at least? Is that what you're well, saying? Yeah, so basically there's going to be an opening. No, no, no. That that wall was there up and then it and then it and then right in front of you like that. And then there's a wall to the left. There, there you go. Like that. Goes, okay, all right. Yep. It goes to the right. Yep. Okay. Hey, Timmons. Um he uh motions for Borg and Anwar to mm -hmm. come, right? So uh naturally come sneaking up here too as well. Uh he's going to say, "Look, we're gonna go have some sights. We're gonna need some light on this. So, uh, <laughs> shoot. Okay. So, let's get inside before we do anything. So, all three of them are gonna get inside. I don't have to push that because it's not gonna fit because of the size of the letters. Yeah. But they all go in there and immediately, um, they are, uh, they, um, who's gonna have a hold this thing? Oh, he's got a master. Okay, all right. So, uh, Borg is going to take out the lantern and to strike it, put a flask of oil in. He's going to 
one hand the bastard sword, so he can also hold the lantern okay. to give light, so we can actually see what's going on. Tim is going to move down further ahead, <laughs> as you can imagine. So my marching order for this, if you want to know, mm -hmm. is Tim is in front, Borg is behind, and Anwar is kind of taking up the rear, but not that far in the rear. So yep. Tim is a little further ahead with the Elven cloak on. I don't know how much it's going to help, but he's going to try to hug the wall so he's not as detected. Okay. That'd be the that'd be gold there. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um so as uh Timmons is coming down the steps, he hears some heavy breathing. Um <laughs> okay. Uh, coming from down the hallway. Okay. So heavy breathing. So does this turn and go this way? It turns and um, how many feet does it go? Only go feet five tell? feet. Only five feet. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, the top goes, top goes like that. The bottom goes five feet. Okay. You guys, as you round the corner, you can see that the wall goes yeah further. Okay. Yep. So Tim is in front, hugging the wall. He's probably going to hug this side wall, okay. so he can peek around it as he goes. All right. And um, keeping an ear out looking ahead right mm -hmm. unfortunately we're gonna lose all element of surprise with light casting all the way down the hallway but we can't see in the dark so yeah he goes down and he's looking and uh what does he see as Borg comes down now towards this side okay yeah so 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 the so, so the, if you can imagine like borg will be on this side yeah. of the stairs mm -hmm. and timmons is over here right? and the yeah. and the and the light goes 30 feet so so there is yeah. a um from from where you have mapped that north wall uh goes one two three four five six yeah go another six feet yeah here yeah okay okay is, it, is that 30 5 10, yeah. 15 20 25 30 5 so 10, 15 20 okay. 25 30 yes. okay and then and then that that south wall goes down five feet <clears throat> down more five feet yeah, down. No, no, no. I'm sorry, south five feet. This and way. Then, uh, yeah, then over to the uh, east ten feet. East ten. Okay, gotcha. All right. Then up. Right. Then up ten feet. No, five feet. Oh, sorry, okay. up five feet. Up and five. Then, okay. And then, um, and then over five feet. Okay. And then, and then it goes down five feet. Okay. And then, um, you and then. If you go over to the next line over, okay. Uh, no, no, not there. There's a that's a there's a hallway down that that way. Yeah, and then, but if you, but you can't really see that at this point. Sorry. Okay. But anyway, like that. Yeah. Okay. But but all but, right. But but as you but as you uh, peek around the corner, um, okay. what you're gonna notice is three kobolds are swinging at your at your at your head. <laughs> He's gonna die. It's all gonna. <laughs> This is where he dies, and we call Chuck. All right, go ahead. Okay. So I guess they're going to take a pop on Timmons, right? Let's see this happen. Yeah. Yay. Well, actually, to make it so they don't have that, they all can't because they don't have reach on you. Um, There's no way they can't hit this guy. He's the same height. He's yeah. What is what is your what is your what is your AC? My AC, my friend, is six. I don't yeah. know if the Elven cloak has any effect, but he's not in the woods anymore, so there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. No, nope. you've got two misses, but one of them was really, really close. All right. You got three two misses. Orcs. Yeah, no, three kobolds. Sorry. Yeah, two misses. And the other guy's trying to edge forward, but they were they were hiding around that little corner. Um okay. waiting for you guys to come down the steps. Oh, okay. So we've got three guys here. Yep. Right. Easy enough. All right. So t so he didn't get hit? No. Wow. Okay. I rolled a nine and a twelve, but I basically GK. The other one can't get to you. They don't have spears. Right. Oh, they just okay. they just have gotcha. short swords. Right. So Timmons, obviously, he's got his spear. He has a spear. I should have said he had it out, but he has it out now. Okay. Uh, he's he's going to jank someone immediately. He's not screwing right. with these guys. Oh, Timmons, twenty minus fourteen. His armor class is six. Okay, that's a hit. Yeah. You got him? 
Yeah, oh. yeah. They oh, they wow. only have, they, they, have, they only, they're kobolds. They only have armor class of uh, seven. <clears throat> he hits for two hit points of damage. Two hit points of damage. Um. All right, that guy looks very very badly hurt. Okay. All right. He's, so, uh, Borg is not going to rush in because he's yep. not. Yeah, you know, he's not going to let his little man get hurt. So he comes in with his uh, uh, bastard sword. He swings hard and fierce because that's what uh, that's what heroes do, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I hit armor class a negative one. Nice. So I, think, I think that's going to tag the situation. He has a lantern in his hand, so he's going straight out here. So it's two plus. He hits three hit points. Oh. Did you hit the other one or the same one? Different one or same uh, one? Probably a different one. Dead, considering dead. the fact that there's dead. three of them now. He's dead? Yeah. Okay, cool. Dead, dead. Right. He drops in. All right. So he was crazy. And then uh my boy Anwar, he's mm -hmm. uh pulling out the uh the flail. Yep. All right. Anwar, nineteen minus fourteen, his armor class of five. Yep, it's a hit. It's that one hit, right? Okay. Yep. Flail doing four hit points with the damage. Dead. So nice. two of them are dropped. We're going to run around. Wait, no, he gets a plus three because of his strength. This gets a plus two. Well. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, this, it doesn't matter. He would have killed him anyways. I just didn't know. The, I forgot to put that for worse damage. All right, cool. The, yes. The one kobold, there was three of them. Two of them you dropped immediately. One of them still alive. He is going to start limping away. And um, he gets to... Um, uh, basically, right where that cursor is, right there where you're at, and okay. he immediately stops and turns around and tries okay. to hug the wall. Okay, well, Timmons won't have anything to do with that. Yeah, <laughs> Timmons runs up and janks him for all it's worth. Yeah, uh, Timmy, gosh, it's an armor class of four with his yep. spear. Oh, he's dead. He only. We only have one hit point left. Oh, okay. Well, okay, right. He's, yeah. He's gone. He shish kebabs him, right? Yeah. Drops yeah. him to the ground. Yeah. And then Timmons immediately turns and goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I we need to get Chuck in this Avengers. This is yeah. easy, but he needs to get he needs to come here and he's he's I think uh Timmons is not gonna last very long. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna get it once. He's gonna go. Actually, yeah. all those guys can get it once, and they're gone. Yeah. If if I come down to my last character, I mm -hmm. is your DM. Could you adjudicate my last character gets max hit points because sure. he gets revitalized by some kind of cleric? <laughs> Zagu pulls you out. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, because I I, I rolled so low, but I felt like let's roll and see what they have. I mean, you. How does sure. anybody live with one hit point? This is like, but I think anytime you really think about it, one hit would take you out of hands. Oh. Yeah. So, hey, Mike, can we stop here? Because I have to actually go upstairs. Yeah. And then we'll, uh, we can stop here. We'll you, talk you don't mind? And then no. Mike can, um, we can pick up tomorrow. And if, and if, and if Chuck wants to play, we can, 